Well, well ladies, so you see the lives, you see what it takes to be an African woman there, and I'm just gonna issue a challenge. We have this jerry can in front here all the way from northern Uganda. Chester brought it back with him as his second piece of luggage. And, and this is exactly, exactly that is exactly what you saw. Here. And I'm issuing a challenge. I would like to see maybe Anne or Melinda okay, or any of you ladies. Try. Uh, who wants to try okay, lifting that? I'm gonna you so you're going to lift it and you're going to just lift whip it, it up I'm, on I'm top of your head. I'm going to just lift it up on my head. head. They did yeah, it. Yeah, just put it. You just put on your shoulder and, and then you on your head. Like this yes. and lift it up. Lift it up there, Melinda. Okay. You're a woman of worth in Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, Melinda. <laughs> <laughs> what does that weigh when it's full of water? Are you serious? Well, that can weigh up to that's 20 liters of water. Okay. Here, maybe uh, and Cheryl's maybe you stronger, should, actually. Somebody Cheryl's should a pretty that. strong woman. <laughs> but I think she do might it. actually Cheryl, be able Cheryl. to. Yes. There's no way they can right up on your head. Oh, oh, This is what, 60 pounds? This could be up to 60 pounds. Now, okay. you were a mom, so you I'm carried a lot well, of kids. Well, it's been a few years. Is that, oh, my up word. Up to 60 pounds. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's as uh, high you... as I'm going right there. <laughs> that is it. Okay, yeah, now I feel uh, really, that is really weak. heavy. Wimpy. And these wow, women, Cheryl, these, these I am so young impressed. Girls, I would not be considered a woman very, there. I mean, these, these girls, that you don't see a lot of muscle there. No, and actually, you see the girls, they not only... Um, am I right here, Pastor mm -hmm. Charles? They put it on their head, but then they would carry two in their arms. Yes. And a baby on the and back. And a baby on the back. Right. Mm -hmm. wow. wow. This I magazine mean... says Americans use 100 gallons at home a day on average. Yeah. In these poor countries, five gallons or less. Well, and Pastor Charles, something like this would, you know, this is a, day, a day's water for a family. Actually, because of the distance that uh, a woman has to go, Mm -hmm. I mean, you can bring in 20 liters of water and you need to use it very economically mm -hmm. to help you, mm -hmm. you see, push the day. And what's even worse is that without us refurbishing wells, mm -hmm. It's dirty water they bring yeah. back. Oh, it, yeah. It's not good water. Mm -hmm. It's not that they've walked this far and, and now they've got something that they can use. It's so you've not got that at all. Diseases. Well, that's, right. that's what I was All sorts of yeah. waterborne and diseases. And the problem is you have 90% of people, the suffering that people are going through, especially children, is waterborne disease yeah. because they get dirty water. And worms. But, and and worms. And we are really grateful that these waters that are being refurbished has really restored mm. life. So mm -hmm. when the, you do the donations, you're actually saying that you, there's been 31 wells that have been yeah, reclaimed? Yeah, 31 are, are or, in process, right? Okay. Most of them have been done. There's, we're working on the last five now. So it'll be closer for women and to get to than walking all correctly. these kilometers yeah, to get Correct. Water. We're going to mm -hmm. reclaim them. It'll be closer. They won't have to go as far, and it'll be clean water. And let's oh, look at your wow. wish list. Go ahead, yeah, Cheryl. Let's go oh, I was just going to say, how many, how many people die in the villages because of the water? Like, is that pretty common to lose kids oh. and... Let me say, families. in five children, among five children, maybe in a day, one would die. It's one too many. One too many, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so you can see that the death rate as a result of this dirty water is always high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's look at where your giving is going right now. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at here? Dave, tell us about it. So, uh, fifty dollars is Seeds of Love ministry kits, where where the volunteers go to these IDP camps and visit these. Uh, uh, girls, uh, $250 uh, does huts, uh, and that will move a family, and, and Alice has already done over 100 huts mm -hmm. and moved families out of these IDP camps, these grandmothers and, and, and childhood. And IDP, sorry, is, is the internal displacement. displacement. Mm -hmm. okay. Right, camps that they were in during the war. Uh, $500 is agricultural assistance, and that's for several families. Right. That, that provides the seeds and the tools and the fuel for the tractor and plowing the land and getting people kick-started. $2,500 is, is clean drinking water, which is reclaiming uh, and refurbishing a well. And it's $25,000 and up for tractor and implements and, and, and trucks and, and uh, all of the equipment you need to to make all of this happen. It's it's a big area we're working in and Very it's not a it's not a glamorous area. These are rural, hard to get to. Alice is telling me, listen, I've got I've got more huts to build with bricks because they, they buy bricks for them. Uh, they're solid. She said, I can't get a truck to take it to 
uh -huh. the village because the truckers saying I'm not going there. Oh, so and we have having to get a traveled on those, I've traveled to, those to roads and they are yeah. so yeah. bad. I mean, so. some of them are just like paths. I mean, unless you drive a four four by four, you're not going anywhere in yeah. northern Uganda. But, but you would want to do twenty five thousand. Like I'm looking at going. I'd want to raise twenty five thousand for tractors and for transportation. So it's sort of like, well, I might not have twenty five thousand, but my church we could rally. My youth group could do. Let's do a twenty five thousand dollar campaign to get tractors there. My church could do it. Women's Bible study groups like mm -hmm. I, I like when I look at it and like I think it's great you could do fifty dollars but let's dream big and let's think yeah. audaciously about mm -hmm. doing twenty five thousand dollars I mean I think it's a good challenge to say let's raise some money mm -hmm. in groups and let's see people on tractors you know doing their agriculture and helping women get yeah. clean water and, yeah. and food and pull back the stat 3.3 .3 million die every year from water-related health problems. Right. Yeah. And this is something that we can do. Here in Canada, yeah. we can make a difference on the other side of the world.